Hey YouTube. Um, okay, so I was thinking about this whole YouTube live thing. Like a lot of times when I just make a regular video, I say, hey YouTube, but it's not like I'm actually talking to YouTube right now. I should say, hey camera, <laughs> um, and talk to the camera, but like, you know, because I'm going to upload it for you guys, and then, um, and so that's why I'm talking to you already, because I'm just going to, like, upload it, but it is kind of weird, it, sorry, that was just a random thought, because I just feel like, like rambling, for one, okay, I don't know exactly what I should do today, um, my body is telling me to do what I'm doing right now, like stretch, um, uh, my physical therapist, I started physical therapy, okay, they're gonna come twice a week, um, and it's gonna be at 12.30, so that's cool, but, um, let's see, okay, I can watch this video to remind me of the times, I should write it down, because I forget times, but I'll actually try to write that on the calendar, if I can remember, 12.30, 30. I think that's right. I don't know. Um, <laughs> anyway, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 12.30, and then, um, and then, so the physical therapy is actually really cool. She gave me, I mean, I'll show you guys the exercises later when I'm in my chair, because they're all exercises that I can do in the chair. You know what? I'm gonna ask her next time she comes. I think that I'm going to, well, maybe not next time, but sometime when she comes, I'm going to ask her some exercises that I can do on the bed, um, like, while I'm in this position. Um, I know I can, like, I should, I should do push-ups and all that stuff, but I can't because, um, I already worked out. She already came this morning. She came at 8.30 which is way too early for me, but, um, I told her it was okay because, um, because it's good for me to suck it up every once in a while and get, um, you know, but anyway, so I did, I already worked out, and, like, we worked out for way more than 15 minutes, it's like half an hour of, of repetitious, like, actual exercises with the TheraBand, um, and so, anyway, that's my life now. <laughs> Physical therapy, that's one of the things, like, when I stopped walking, then, um, I, you know, I, I stopped physical therapy. Now, that it was actually a bad idea. should have kept physical therapy, but explain that I don't want to walk anymore. It is way overrated. I just want to be safe. I wanted to stop falling. Um, and, you know, I can, I can't walk fast, can't walk far, all that stuff. So I should have kept physical therapy and just explained that I wasn't going to try to walk anymore, and um, had them help me like transition into sitting all the time. Um, but I didn't. I just stopped doing physical therapy, and then like here, here's down the road. Then I'm like. Well, you know what? Since I did it that way, no one ever actually taught me the best way to transfer. And, um, you know, stuff like this when you can't walk. So, um, if you're in that predicament, if you are, you know, considering the benefits, like, is walking really worth the, the time spent in therapy, the, um, energy, the, the, um, uncertainty, I used to use walkers and stuff, which was, like, walkers are awesome, too, they, you know, very helpful, but now, looking back, I think, man, I could have, could have accomplished so much more if I had just, um, realized, wait a second, a wheelchair, but, I mean, you know, it's good for your body to use your legs. I mean, that's some of the bad things about being in a wheelchair all the time. Like, okay, so when I was walking, then, um, you know, I would fall all the time. And then, um, 
I was scared to cross an open room and um, I had to always walk on the walls <laughs> and I would always think I oh, mean everybody's got to think I'm drunk because I would like sway and uh, lose my balance and stuff but um, so then you know using a walker I use both types of walkers um, you know I should have done I wasn't even doing YouTube videos much back then I think I I don't know. I don't remember. I've been making YouTube videos for a while. Like someone was commenting on some of my, or not really commenting, but about them. He was like, yeah, in some of your older videos I noticed. I was like, wow, I wonder how long I have been doing this. But anyway, okay, so, so I was falling all the time. Um, you know, I used the walker. I, the walker with wheels was difficult for me to use because um oh like I mean it was okay sometimes it was nice because it had a seat and so that was that was helpful um although one time my son was pushing me I was sitting on the seat and he was pushing the walker um and he was kind of running we were in a hotel and stuff and anyway the whole chair flipped like you know um it was so poor my poor son was crying and stuff, and, um, or I don't know if he even cried, but he was scared, and, you know, I was fine, it wasn't a big deal at all, like, believe me, I'm a professional damsel in distress, do not attempt my maneuvers at home, don't attempt this stuff if you don't really know, but anyway, okay, so walkers, you know, they have their good and bad things, but for me, it wasn't worth the it wasn't worth it, really. Walking for me was overrated. Um, and so I chose to be in a chair. The bad things about being in a chair all the time, um, you don't, your legs are going to atrophy. Um, you don't get as much circulation. The The most difficult thing for me is my, my um, butt is sore all the time. My um, legs, like underneath my legs, my thighs, like it hurts to sit all day, like, to not be able, to, um, I have a friend who, um, he can't even lay on his, on his stomach, like I'm doing, he has to lay on his side, um, I mean, he, anyway, it's, or his back for a little while, but he can't even lay on his back for very long, I mean, he can for, like, hours and stuff, but, anyway, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> the point is that um, being in a wheelchair, it hurts. Um, sitting all the time hurts. Um, and, you know, the those tendons behind your knees, behind, on top of your hips, you know, those things are going to get really tight. And um, it hurts. And so you got to keep that in mind. Um, however, in my situation atrophy, um, as the, the w more weak my legs get, um, it kind of helps in many ways. I used to have spasms when I was trying to walk, then I would still, like, use the wheelchair sometimes, you know, um, and I would spasm where my legs stick straight out, but it would go on, you know, for hours. I could ride, like, all around town. You know, I would go for maybe five, six blocks before one, and my legs would slowly start to really. Now, um, if they spasm while I'm rolling, then usually, like, my right leg is pretty easy to um, release, or it will do it. I mean, it might be for half a block, maybe a full block if, if I've been sitting in a while. Um, but then it'll start, you know, going down. Oh, this will be my legs. This is me in the chair. Like, let's see. There's, oh, I can't do that with my feet, though. Hmm. Oh, well, my feet can't go the, out. Anyway, all right, so there's me in the chair. So when my legs spasm like this, then, um, you know, usually the right one will relax first. Some no shake and stuff like that, and then I'll prop it up 
on the footrest that will kind of lock it in place and then my left leg will um, you know a lot of times it it stays straight even now like it it could stay straight maybe I don't know three four blocks but eventually it will start to you know slowly release and then when it um, when it's pretty released like this even though it still is a little bit spasm then usually I can use my hands and kind of like either I'll pull my um, like my thigh right underneath there and then that will help the thing go down um, or I will I mean sometimes I can kind of you know it's 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 kind of a reach for my arms but you know I can kind of do it in there and then I, I'll prop my leg up with my knee and then um, you know try to pin it to the footrest too huh. that's interesting doing this <laughs> this video with my fingers and doing that um yeah that's probably good for my fingers anyway okay so um Anyway, yeah, the bad things about a wheelchair, like, you know, you can also, I mean, I made that video, I made the video right, oh, I don't even know if my sound is working, that makes me think, like, maybe I should stop and, to stop the video, restart it all over again, but I won't, I'll just have to hope, I'll hope that the sound is working, um, but, anyway, anyway, um, let's see, yeah, I made that video about the pros and cons of wheelchair use. I need to make a couple more or just throw in the stuff. But anyway, the biggest thing is it hurts. I mean, that's probably my, my most um, difficult part of being in a wheelchair. But, I mean, physical therapy hurt and stuff too, but it was different. It wasn't like this. Um, and so speaking of that, like I did take you know my doctor switched my pain medication it's it's in the same class but it's a little bit stronger but um I don't know I don't know I still feel like you know it hasn't I just took it a little while before I started this video so um you know we'll see if if at some point I feel like the pain the edge is off, but I think that a lot of times medication, um, the traditional medication in a little pill, I don't think they're very effective for me. A lot of pills, you know, I take tons of them. I've been taking tons of them since I was 20, and, um, you know, I'm almost 40, right? I'm going by 40 now, so you know. Um, but anyway, so that's 20 years of medication you know I don't think that my body it's like oh, another pill. <laughs> you know let's let's stick that in the um, poop pile I think it, it sends it automatically to my digestive tract because I have actually um, seen some of my like bladder medication in like the actual pill the whole pill will be just stuck in my poop pile <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> um, I thought I had just some weird, like, what? Some white spot. The pill. Um, so, anyway, obviously my body didn't digest that. It's, and I think it does that with many pills. I think it just automatically, oh, it's a pill. Send it through. Um, <laughs> but some of them do work. And then, you know, it's just, um, I think that the, the gel stuff that pain relief and gel that works good marijuana works good I think that um I would love to try um bee sting therapy I think that sounds like it would feel good it really does just I don't know, I don't know if it would or not but it does it sounds like I think I think a bee, if a bee would sting the areas of my body that I put this stuff on, like my butt, you know, um, which I'm gonna, that's, 
I try to kind of <laughs> keep it, keep my hand flipped over, and then, um, you know, I'll, um, sneak it in the diaper, <laughs> put it on my butt. My back has been hurting a lot, too, um, and I told the doctor about that, and, you know, he wasn't too concerned. I, I asked him if I should do, like, a full body scan, but he just, you know, no, <laughs> it wouldn't be worth it. Uh, um, because, like, what are they going to do? You know, even if, if, um, my, even if I'm broke somewhere, that, what's, like, I don't use my ankle, so, uh, he thinks that I sprained my foot pretty bad, but they would just tell me to sit, you know, keep it stable, don't use it. Which is exactly what I'm doing. So, anyway. Um, oh, yeah. See on my knuckle? Right there. I, um, cut it. Like with the scissors. I just accidentally was, I was cutting something and I accidentally cut my finger. <laughs> so, you know, you know, I'm gonna try to, uh, try to sneak some into the diaper on the, the top part of my thighs. It hurts. Like, I really, I'm in a lot of pain now, um, more so than normal because, um, because I was falling all the time, which is because the footrest, which is because my chair. I don't think I like my chair, which is sad because it's my leg. And um, I mean, I do. I like it because it does get me where it needs to go, and it can go up, you know, and down, and do the seat functions and stuff. But it also really irritates me, and um, it has. The, it is. It is the reason that I'm hurting so bad, and so, um, yeah, I'm trying to think, because I'm, I'm trying to be, um, responsible, take responsibility for my own actions and all that stuff, um, because I, you know, that's, like, the fact is, you know, you can't blame all your crap on everything else, um, on your wheelchair, I'm trying and doing a good job of not blaming, um, my, my body, you know, um, because, like, I'm trying to be nice to my body, and it's working, it's, I'm being nicer, um, but, you know, my wheelchair, I don't know, that's kind of like, one of those things, ooh, should I be nice to it? Because it technically kind of is part of, but it's not my body. I mean, my artificial hip, like the fact that I'm a cyborg. Okay. So, oh, um, yeah, like my artificial hip, you know, that's metal and stuff, but it's still part of my body. But, um, my wheelchair is just my robot, you know, that takes me wherever I need to go, and so, anyway, I, I like my robot, I got you, I need to name it, but, um, anyway, it's really frustrating me right now because it's been broke down, um, and so, that is annoying, okay, so my pain, let me see, yeah, it's still, it's still totally there. The, the gel helps more. Oh, see, now that's the bad thing. Because I was supposed to be trying to figure out if the pain pill actually kicks in. But I think the gel is helping a little bit. But internally, I don't feel any difference. But um, I guess that the medication is supposed to work by, like, it, it, 
makes your brain think the pain's not so bad anyway. It just, like, uh, you know, which, which works. I think that's basically what marijuana does to you. You know, it just distracts you from the pain. But, um, but, you know, it's just, I don't know. I just wish there was some kind of relief. You know what I was thinking about? You know those monks that, oh, um, I don't even know if I should, be. should I make this video? I'm just rambling, but yeah, anyway, if you don't want to watch it, then stop. Why are you watching it if you don't want to? If I, you think it's stupid and boring and all that stuff, stop. Just turn it off. Go away. Um, or you could just sit here and listen to me to ramble about weird stuff and get distracted like right now I'm already distracted what was I going to think about um, hmm. I don't know I don't know but um, let's see what are some other things I want to talk about um yeah my counselor Okay, because I've been hurt, and I've been in an angry mood. Oh, but some of that is hormones, or some of it was hormonal. And, like, I, I, at least I'm on my period now, but I still feel kind of irritable. I, like, I mean, it's got to be the wheelchair, I, I think. You know, I'm pretty sure that that's the problem. But, um, I want to be happy. I want to be happy, um, which makes me think, okay, oh, I know what I was going to talk to you about, okay, the, um, my counselor, yeah, so, she, you know, knows I'm irritable and all this stuff, but, um, she wanted me to do art, because, like, art makes me happy, you know, um, and I was telling her, okay, I need to, you know, I need to dismantle my lights and um, I need to fix, like I've already made the that smile with the mustache, you know I need to actually hook it together um, but anyway she was wanting me to do some like new art um, like the flag wires, I can wrap those with duct tape and actually you know, I was like, well, I need to wrap a bunch of them in duct tape, and then eventually I'll twist them into flowers, but she wants me to twist them into flowers right now, too, so I can see, like, the completed result, um, so maybe that's what I'll do, but then, yeah, like, maybe I'll get, um, get in my wheelchair, and then roll over to the couch, and then just stretch out on the couch. But, um, I mean, I can do this on the couch where I'm on my stomach, but um, it's it would be pretty difficult to work with anything. But, I mean, at least it'll be a different surface for my um, booty. Um, oh, man. See, like, my butt right now, it hurts. Um, yeah, it just hurts. Like, it's just weird. Like, it always hurts. My thighs always hurt and stuff, too. It just hurts. When you say it, when you say it, it hurts. But, um, you know, still, like, I don't know. I do think that, I think that physical therapists and, um, medical supply people, even doctors, I think that you guys should counsel people on like let people know that atrophy um is a choice to like you know you can stop the struggle to walk you don't have to i mean you can just get used to using a chair you can you can accept that that's where your disease is taking you and um you can skip the falling a million times and breaking your hip <laughs> process. Um, I mean, like, maybe, maybe you shouldn't skip it. I mean, there are definitely, 
you know, reasons you want to keep muscles in your legs, reasons for all this stuff, but, I mean, there are also reasons to just accept where life is taking you and to just, um, embrace your wheelchair and, um, you know, I think, I don't know, my wheelchair is my life, um, or it's not my life, but it's a huge part of my life, and if someone now offered me the choice of either legs that work or a wheelchair, but I can't have both, but, like, I could either trade my wheelchair for, um, for the ability to walk, I would say no, <laughs> like, no thanks, um, I would say, yeah, no, thank you, walking is overrated, um, I don't care if my legs worked great, and if I could run, and, I mean, it would be, it would be fun to climb, like, I would love to climb again, I used to climb trees and, and stuff, but, um, no, no, it's not worth it, I, I use my chair, I need it, I like it, I wouldn't be able to carry, how could I carry a whole shopping basket full of groceries home with the legs at work? I don't have a car. Um, you know, I, I would be tired all the time because I would have to walk everywhere. Like, um, I don't know. I mean, maybe it would be cool. It would be fun. It would feel good maybe, maybe to stand for a little bit, but, um, no, I need my really like plus this whole movement like I mean my wheelchair um you know it's it's huge it's like yeah I mean I would appreciate the thought you know some guy in the grocery store um in in line in the store he was like um you know I'm gonna pray for you to to be healed and I was like thanks, but, um, I don't actually want to be healed, you know, um, I don't, like, I don't want anyone to pray that for me, I don't, I, I want to, I want, if you want to pray for me, um, if you want, a, like, I want to, um, to fully embrace well, I don't know. I think I have. I think I really have embraced the majority of, um, of, of my life, of my disability. Like, really, I mean, I don't know. I like being me. I like being able to make a difference. I like, I like having people who watch my videos and who comment and say, hey, I'm in the same situation. I have progressive MS too. I have, um, you know, I'm in a wheelchair. I, I experience incontinence. I use diapers. Well, like all that stuff. It, it feels, I had, I had a, a person run up to me in, um, like I was just dancing around a parking lot one night when the weather was nice. Um, and, and some guy, an employee of Payway here in Moore, um, so shout out to you, employee of Payway <laughs> in Moore, um, up by, by 19th Street, I was dancing around in the parking lot, and the employee just came running up, and he, he was, he just gave me a hug, and, um, was like, I love you, you know, I see you everywhere, all over town, and, um, I just wanted to say that, you know, I, I, um, I appreciate what you're doing, it means a lot to me, I think he, he was tearing up, I was tearing up, you know, it was just, that's, that's what I live for, really, I mean, I, I live for, okay, these are the things I live for, I live for my kids, of course, um, you know, they, they, save my life, they, they literally saved my life, and, um, they do every day, and, um, so I live for my kids, I live for my, um, my town, my 
the the real the people in town like I had another woman pull over one day and um she was just crying and I was crying and we we just had a really good um talk about like she had been s suicidal and um you know I explained I have been there I um <laughs> you know it's I know that struggle well and um so you know it's that's those moments and now I'll still like when I see her around town we talk and and there's another lady who um okay so this is another thing I make tornado jewelry oh yeah like I love my life I live for my kids and my movement and everything but um I'm poor I'm so poor like seriously um I, I mean, I have social security disability and Medicare and Medicaid. The Advantage program with Medicare helps me out so much with um, supplies and stuff. This lotion that I'm putting on right now, um, I have actually uh, been using that. This I love it. It smells good and um, it it feels good and so it's uh, like a medical lotion but um, I love it and um, so I get you know free that my my pull-ups um, I've been having to buy like the them from the store because my advantage like the company said that my um, authorization for the pull-ups apparently ran out in January and so um that's why I've been having to buy them over the counter um but anyway that stuff it saves me so much money but but um since I have been having to buy them over the counter like pull-ups are expensive and um you know I've been wearing them every day especially now like I mean I'm on my period so of course I'm gonna wear them and um but also um with with all the pain and the transfer issues and the hurting um I think my bladder and my bowels well maybe not my bowels right now but my bladder definitely um is reacting to it you know I there there have been a couple times when when I just felt the urge to be and all of a sudden lost it you know um which has happened in the past but I've been doing really good and then all of a sudden it's it's been messed up even more m more lately than it has in the past so I've been careful I would rather rather wear diapers every day than um you know have accidents in my clothes or on my chair um so anyway that gets expensive they're like 11.97 basically 12 bucks a pack for like 10 20 you know 10 to 20 like i think the packs have 12 usually 12 to 16 maybe um but um anyway anyway that stuff adds up so this is what I do too like you know I'm creative I do art and stuff but I make tornado jewelry I don't I think I've talked about that in some some of my videos um but I May 20th 2013 a tornado ripped through the streets of Moore Oklahoma um and destroyed many homes in a large part of our town um but including my ex-in-law's home um and so anyway I made a video I'll try to find the video and put a link to to the video footage that um that I compiled during that time like cell phone videos and stuff and um their houses on there and um, anyway, I s 
salvaged a board and a brick from that house and I used those the board and brick and I um, the fire department smashed the brick for me um, and I use the board you know I just tear it apart um, and in bed I make I have resin molds jewelry molds and so I make a whole bunch of the resin and then um, I put pieces of the board and the brick, some dust from the brick, in um, into the jewelry molds. And then um, I'm going to be making a lot of keychains this time, um, I, and some jewelry too, but um, keychains, and then I'll be setting it all up. I have an Etsy store, but I don't have anything on there, except maybe, maybe my daughter's slime. I don't remember if she finished putting it on there or not. But, um, anyway, um, I have an Etsy store and I need to, um, stock it. I need to make my tornado drilling and sell it. Um, but I don't know even what to price that as or, or whatever. But, I mean, it is cool. It's one of a kind stuff. Like, once I use up that board and that break, it's done. There will be no more. But, I mean, the board is is pretty good chunk of two by four and then um the brick you know i just use dust and so it's gonna last forever unless i make some kind of big sculpture thing maybe i should do that just to use some of it up because i don't want to make tornado jewelry forever um and i don't want to keep a board and a brick around forever but um i don't know maybe i will who knows? Um, but anyway, I need to make money. Uh, and yes, my book is going to get published. But um, that the the publisher said that it could be over a year. It might be two years um, before it ever goes into print. And um, so, you know, it's not like I'm going to be making an income from that. Oh, and then I keep forgetting to email the lady might play actually the high school drama teacher said she would love to read through my play but I keep forgetting to email it to her so anyway that's what I'm gonna do now actually this video is like 36 minutes long um because but sorry I just felt like rambling I hope that um I hope that the sound was on I guess if not I'll just delete it that's the nice thing about about not being live but um I do like doing YouTube live but um I've just got to think of something that's actually you know needs to be said to to do the live stuff and today I just was rambling but thanks for thanks for letting me ramble camera <laughs> you know sometimes I think that um this stuff is therapeutic I think just getting just getting your thoughts out of your head and um, just having your voice out there, even if even if no one listens, um, the just getting that out there is is therapeutic. It's good for me and it's felt good to stretch. That's forty minutes of just stretching out, and that's that's awesome for me too. So um, I will end this though, and um, yeah, email my the high school drama teacher. <laughs> Bye.